Hello, so you're uh, probably watching this video because you're stuck and you can't figure out how to read the resistor values to choose the right resistor for the circuit that you're actually trying to build right now, which can be really frustrating, especially with these kind of resistors here, which are kind of dark in color with dark bands and really small, and it doesn't make a lot of sense uh, when you first look at it to try to figure out which resistor you actually have. There is a code, okay, and I have it right here, and even this is a little tough because this picture here shows this real nice asymmetry where we have the tolerance band, you know, greatly separated uh, from the other four bands, uh, which makes it easy to figure out which band is first and which band is last. Whereas if you look at this pile of resistors, you know, like this one, I can't tell you which is the beginning, which is the end. All right. So if you're using a kit, um, there's a good chance you're going to have the same value. So rather than dwell too much on trying to interpret it, I'll, I'll briefly mention it's really not hard to figure out what's going on. The first band is going to be the first digit. So if it's a brown, for example, it's going to be a one. The next two bands, the next two digits, so a brown, black, black is going to be a hundred, one, zero, zero. And then this is going to be the multiplier here. So if the the uh, fourth band is red, it's going to be multiplied by a thousand and you're going to be able to, I'm sorry, a hundred and you're going to be able to calculate out the total value of that particular resistor. But, you know, so let's say we just want to get to the, the right resistor really quick, okay? So if I grab one of these resistors and I hold it up, I don't, I just grab one at random here. Let me bring my focus up so we can actually see what we've got. I have no idea which one I grabbed. Okay, so I grabbed it and I look at it here and hmm, okay, there is something that's kind of unique. There's some browns, uh, there's some blacks, and then we have this either a yellow or a gold. And I'm going to say that's a yellow, and I wonder if I have a gold one down here. Well, actually, I'll set it aside for the moment. If we put them side by side, I think it's really obvious. I, that looks like a yellow to me. So what I would do is I would scroll down here, and actually it's the first set, and see what I mean? There's a yellow and there's a gold. That's a yellow. It's not shiny. You'll see the gold. It's very shiny. All right. So that means that this is a one mega ohm or a million ohm resistor. Okay. You figured it out really quick. Let's grab another one here. I'll hold it up. What do we got? We've got a brown, black, 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 brown. Okay. I can't tell you which is the beginning. I can't tell you which is the end. It doesn't really matter. Let's find a brown, black, black, brown, black, black, brown. And you can see that this is the 100 ohm resistor. Brown, black, 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 brown. All right. Let's grab another one here real quick at random. Uh, oh, there's that gold. Okay. You can see how shiny it is. All right. That's clearly this one here. It's the only resistor in this entire kit that has a gold band. Just like this one's the only one with the yellow band. All right. So this is the 10 ohm resistor. I'll grab another here. What do we got? Oh, that's clearly two oranges, and I don't care what it is over there because, you know what? There's only one resistor with two oranges. Now, there's one with two reds, but that's orange, okay? And that's orange, so that's a 330 ohm. And if we take a look at this one, oh, there's the two reds, okay? So that's a 220. I don't even care. There's only one of these resistors in the whole pack that has two reds, and there's only one set of resistors that has two oranges. So those are your two choices. This is a 220 ohm. Let's look at the next one. Uh, it starts off with green. Okay, That's all I'm going to care about right now because there's only one resistor in the entire pack that has a green band and it's this one, the 5000 or 5k ohm resistor. And last but not least, we'll see which one this is. Uh, a red, okay. So there's only one resistor in the entire kit that starts off with a red band. Let's find it. Uh, you can see there's red bands here, but they're not at the beginning. Ah, there it is. This is a 2K or 2000 ohm resistor. So I know this is a little bit of a cheat. Uh, it's keeping you from actually figuring it out. I'm just telling you what to look for in sort of a shortcut method, but it, uh, it works really well. So hopefully you found this useful, and I'll see you again soon.